Whoa, that's trippy. Hey, what's up guys? Tim Wright right here. Quick wristwatch check, Rolex Submariner. Hey, I'm gonna be switching out my LED lights from the bookshelf. So if you've been watching my live shows, this is what makes, uh, you know, makes my bookshelf uh, light up in that really nice green color. But you know what I, what I figured out is that it's just not enough pop. These lights that I got, they're right here. They're kind of, they're not the best ones. They're very weak. They're weak and I need power guys. I need power. That's why I got these big boys. Not only are they more powerful, they're also longer. So I'm gonna be able to, you know, put more strips inside each bookshelf. But, uh, well anyways, that's my plan. Let me show you how I did what I did here. And then as, I, as I'm as i changing these, I will be giving you guys a little work in progress. Okay, just real quick. Put my sunglasses right there. As you can see, this is my bookshelf, okay? Let me show you what it looks like from the side. You see that? So I have the lights running kind of like that. You see it? It's very, it's very cool. Okay. And now, so this is where the power is coming from. As you can see, got these strips. Oh, I just disconnected one. There you go. That's a good example. You see it? Oh, shoot. There it is. These are the connectors and they go into this block right there. Okay. And so what happens? Wait, let me, geez, let me sit down and let me reconnect it. Okay. I reconnected the power, but so what happens, uh, this is the power block. This is the remote control. And uh, what happens, what I have here is one strip goes from underneath and goes up, up and over, and then in, it comes down here, and then it goes down through the bottom, and then underneath, as you can see, it comes back around from underneath here. You see that? That's how that's how I did it so whereas the other side it ends right there you see it that's the end it's the end of the line um, that's where I cut it off basically but it could have been it could have been running even further than that but what I'm going to do with the new one you'll see the new one has three ports like this one has two ports the new one has three what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one single strip running double it's gonna run double well, anyway that's my plan I'll, I'll we'll see how that works out but uh yeah i mean this is how it's connected and as you can see it's running over there and it plugs in right there okay very very cheap and nasty but i'm hoping to improve it anyways this is where i got my rolex books i got some uh notebooks right there my shakespeare these are still sealed uh some boxes just if you wanted a little walkthrough fragrances my cameras the old one the new one i'm still getting lenses for the new camera whereas the old one has all the good lenses right there maybe i'll do a little longer videos at the top right here oh i just took out a book i got my lord of the rings books i've got some uh uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. There you go. There's some. There's some extra fragrances as you can see, and the other ones got my uh, hiking books that that I'm going to be doing hiking. Some classics. There you go. Oh, at the bottom, I got my backpack. Got my Star Wars RPG game. Really want to start playing Star Wars role-playing games with with the uh, people online. Over here, I got my D&D books, and then on the other side, I got other role-playing games like Call of Cthulhu. I got uh, Pathfinder, and uh, yeah, even more fragrances. Oh, anyways, let's start. Let's start the work. 
on this thing just really quick let me show you guys this was the old one uh as you can see non-waterproof i'm not sure if the new one is waterproof but that's weird i didn't notice that before anyways this one had as you can see these rolls it had two rolls and it's got the sticky tape on the back so so what you can do oh this is just a piece let me show you guys what happened was the reason uh that my led fails because i tore it and then when i tried to connect it i did it it didn't come with these connectors you see when you cut when you cut this led strip you must have these connectors and the bad part about this this cheap uh, this cheap one it didn't come with any connectors so i had to buy online some of these connectors they're just they're expensive i think i paid like 10 bucks for a couple of these so you can see it so what you do is you pop these open oh and the reason it failed because these things are so cheap that one of the metal pieces failed well i can't open it with one hand because it's so tight because it has to hold them really really well but one of the metal pieces broke off anyways the really good thing about this brand new led set that i've got that it comes with everything it has everything let me show you look at this so first of all this is going to be the new remote oh, let's put it down. this is going to be the new remote that's the old one so looks like this one had more colors but all colors they're all the same so doesn't matter but this one looks like it has more functions also so here here are the strips they're much much longer let me open one Jeez. There Very similar, very similar thing. How are these LEDs compare the strips? Let's see, let's compare the strip. So this is the old strip. Wait, wait, that's the new strip? Where's the old one? I just had it right here, oh, right there, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot, the new one looks smaller. Damn. You see that? Damn. The new strip looks actually smaller. Shoot. Let's see. I have to connect it in order to see how powerful they are. Let's connect them. Oh, actually, yeah. Let me take. Let me take it out. Let's let's keep going doing the unboxing. You see, it comes with the same power thing, except there's three connectors on this end. Okay. Let's put that to that. It comes. You see, with these plastic pieces, it also comes with these pieces you can screw into the wall. It comes with these 3M pieces you can screw into the wall. And there's the power brick. So, very good stuff, but this brick is heavy. Heavy brick. Anyways, let's, let's test it. Okay, so there was my old brick right there. I connected the new one. It's much bigger, which is pain. So here I hooked it up into this roll. Let's see how it works. So there's a demo. I can hit the button. Wait, did it turn on? Oh, wait. Did it turn on? Oh, there we go. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Change it. Oh. Oh. That's pretty. Let me see, where's the remote? Here's the remote, let me take out this bracket. There we go. Let's see how this works. Wait, that's blue. Oh, green, yellow, very nice, white. Okay, what is this? Oh, is that like really red? Oh no, red, green. 
What is this green? Ah, they look different in blue. Oh, okay. And what is this mode does? Oh shit. Okay, well let me do let me do the blue let me do red one. And let's try to bump up the so this is the brightest. Okay. And I can make it less. Okay. Alright. Oh, what is auto? This just goes crazy. Whoa, that's insane. But I want to do this one. Let's see. Hello? Yo, guys. So now I'm talking and it's matching my voice. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I'm going to do... Wow. Okay. I mean, I don't know if make if it makes any any sense, but there you go. Wow. Oh. Wow. It doesn't really it doesn't really make any sense. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you there you go. That's the voice. That's the voice recognition. But uh so so far so good. Uh, so far, so good. Let's see. Let me put it back on the green. How does it look? Looks not too bad. I think at least, at the very least, it's going. I'm gonna have twice as uh, twice as much uh, strip going through. So because it's gonna going to double up, it's going to be brighter. Just because you know it's twice as long. Anyways, let's. Uh, Let's start setting up this puppy. Just real quick, I uh, just want to say that I'm gonna start with uh, with this shelf, then I'll move up to the middle shelf, and I'll do uh, the corner shelf uh, last. Because I think, yeah, I think it's going to, because I'm not gonna make it, I think, I, I'm not gonna have the time to do everything today. So it's gonna, it's probably gonna take me a couple of days. So there you go. Okay, so one is done. Let me show you how I did it. Check this out, guys. It's doubled up. So what I did is I ran this LED strip from underneath here. Uh, and I think, oh yeah, it's running up to here. Then it comes around, goes down, goes over there behind the bugs, and then it goes up and over and goes down again so there you go that's the force now by the way i took off the watch not to scratch it so you have to be careful with your watches guys okay so that's the first one and i'm exhausted i'm just putting books back into their place and these things are heavy heavy anyways that's what it's going to look like all right i did uh, the second the middle shelf and actually here I went kind of around and I specifically lit up this one shelf I think here is gonna be where I'm going to display my cameras and my equipment that's gonna look pretty sick I think look at that damn so what happened here you go so once again I, I pushed it through here went up up around down so that goes down all the way here to the back and then from the back it goes up here and then i turned it here went around as you can see bam and then up and ends somewhere at the back over there so there whew, i am pretty exhausted but let's test it out where's the Where's the remote? Damn it. Oh, found it. There it is, there we go. Let's try the blue one. Wait. Huh? 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 What doesn't work? Oh, I'm holding it backwards, that's what. Ooh! There we go. Red now really pops. Whew! Crazy stuff. Blue. Damn, that's going to look amazing. Yeah, those lights in the back, they really pop. Light up, lighting up the, the back side of the, like, the fragrance collection. All right, anyways, I need to do one more.
but I have to go I have to go to the seminar. I have to go finish up some school stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue the installation later. Got my watch back on. All right. All right, guys. So I'm here putting in the last uh, the last shelf. So the way I'm doing it is from the back forward. So I started it here, as you can see in this corner. Then I pushed it all up and around. Let me get that. There we go. Pushed it down. Then I had to cut it. And now it's coming down over here. So now I'm going to use this little connector piece to connect this with with the end. Let me show you. I'm going to I'm going to connect it. Okay, so it's kind of dark, but this is what the connector piece looks like. Uh, let me let me put them in. And there we go. That's the two pieces connected. Then all you have to do is just snap these plastics in. Oh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you get the point. All right, guys. Looks like it's complete. Look at that. I got it into all corners. There it is. Whew. That's pretty cool. Let me change, let me change color. It's the green. Bam! Look at that. Ah, it's just gorgeous. Especially this part right here. Where I got it going all the way around. That ah, just pops. Absolutely pops. Man, I love this. Okay, now I have a lot of work. I have to put all of these books, all this stuff that I got on the floor. So, just real quick, this is how it's connected at the bottom. As you can see, I got these three strips coming into these, this hub. There's the hub. I can basically, I guess, okay modified brightness on this thing there's also different modes you know you can do you can do one of these stroke modes but either way that's the thing and this is what the remote control looks like let's uh let's do auto what does auto do nothing let's just turn it off so that's off what about auto Auto, auto doesn't do anything. Let's turn it on and let's do red and then auto. Holy shit. Auto just goes crazy. Okay, okay, let's just do red and then bump it up to max. Okay. And what is lock? Lock, I guess. Oh, no. I thought, I thought lock is going to do something, but anyways, it doesn't do anything. Color. Oh, this is this way you can cycle through different colors and music oh oh yeah so this way it synchronizes to my speech as i talk it blinks so whenever i'm saying something it's going to react but i'm not a big fan of the what about this one okay so this one is a little bit slower so when i talk it blinks a little bit slower it blinks a little bit slower as i talk it's not that great, I gotta be honest. I don't like it. So, speech, speech recognition thing, that's a total fail. Either way, that's it, guys. <clears throat> there you go, guys. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also come onto my live show. Come. Come to the live show where you where we can interact together. We can talk, talk watches, talk fragrances, uh, or you can ask me any question that you want. Also, don't forget to check out my website, timwright.com. You can subscribe and you will get a notification for every video or whatever, every blog that I do, whatever, whatever I'm up to, you can follow me on, on that website, okay? Timwright.com, guys. <laughs>